are you? Welcome to Ingredient Tuesday. I've got a really fun ingredient for you today. It's citric acid. Um, citric acid is a weak organic acid derived from fruits. Uh, it is used as a acidifier, a flavoring agent, chelating agent. So when I say uh, acidifier, um, when you see it in a lotion or shampoo, our, our uh, skin is actually a little bit on the acidic side, just a teeny tiny bit. So you don't want anything way too basic or way too acidic. So if you have a basic um, compound, like a soap, which is very basic, you want something to kind of move it up in that scale a little bit to make it a little bit more neutral, a little bit more acidic, just a little bit. What can you, so that leads us to the next part. What can you find it in? It's in foods, it's in cleaning agents, it's in nutritional supplements, beauty uh, items, the whole, like the whole sphere of stuff. Skin peels, it's a really nice skin peel. Uh, shampoos and lotions. Um, it's used uh, in cleaning agents, I thought this was really cool. When you see the um, sprays that take the soap scum off your shower walls, it's usually a lot of citric acid in there. That's cool. All right, so brings us to, is it good? Yes, I love it. I love it. It's such a fun ingredient to use. It's so useful. There's a ton, ton of um, ways it can be used. Um, but uh, too much acid can cause, if you're uh, working with the raw ingredient itself, and I know this, uh, it can cause a cough, shortness of breath, um, possibly a sore throat. Um, but like all of the ingredients that I usually cover, or I use, um, as soon as you're away from it, you're back to normal. It doesn't leave any lasting problems. Um, if you eat too much, your tummy will hurt because it's acidic. Why would you want to eat like bowls full of citric acid? I don't know, but you do you. Um, it will sting your eyes. I've gotten my eyes before and it's like, oh my gosh. It's like getting vinegar in your eyes. It's about the same. In fact, I think vinegar is a little bit more acidic. You just rinse it out. And it, uh, it would er cause erosion of tooth enamel. Again, don't eat bowls of citric acid. You won't have problems. Um, it is not potentially toxic or fatal. It is not suspected to be a, um, a bioaccumulative uh, compound, so it doesn't stay around in the body. In fact, it has a lot of good things about the, in the body that it does. Um, I won't cover all of them, it's just notable qualities. Um, did you know that it's a byproduct of the wine, cheese, and sourdough bread production? What? Cool! Um, it's typically manufactured because the demand exceeds the supply. You would need tons of limes and lemons to make what we need. So usually when you're looking at your ingredient label, what you're seeing is a, is a man-made one. Um, citric acid enhances the bioavailability of minerals, allowing you to better absorb the vitamins. Citric acid has a ton of uses. Um, inside your body, outside your body, um, and not in your body at all, on your shower wall. So it's a really cool ingredient. Um, as far as allergens are concerned, um, if you are crank that allergy, your skin sensitivity level up to 11, uh, because it's acidic, it might trigger some allergies. Um, there's not enough data available on that. Um, but they do think that it might, if you already are various, very allergic to things, that it might uh, enhance those. Um, but other than that, it's a really good ingredient. Um, it's disintegr it's uh, doesn't uh, stick around in the environment very long. It's naturally made, or it can be naturally made. So it's a really cool ingredient. At the end of the video, you're gonna, I'm gonna drop um, all my sources. So check those out. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed Ingredient Tuesday. Thank y'all. Bye.